self-care Sunday. Happy New Year. It's me. Yeah, sporadic. But I just wanted to show you. I am meal prepping for the week. My first week meal prepping. And I'm going to show you how I got everything. I'm pretty much following how HelloFresh sells you, sends you your meals and in, in the directions of prepping all your meats and your veggies and then doing everything after that. So I'm just going to show you pretty quick my veggie setup and all my prepping and a little bit of me. I'm actually making chicken and peanut stew, which is one of the 2D mindset recipes. And that should have me make enough for me to have that for two meals which is a lunch meal so probably today and <clears throat> maybe tomorrow or another day but i'm going to show you guys okay so this is the one week one week meal plan that i'm following and i am preparing my chicken and peanut stew and that is going to be two when it's ready to be served and then my other meal is going to be the cauliflower grilled cheese and tomato soup which I am going to um, prepare that also I switched. Well, that is as you feed it. Um, I'm gonna do the instant pot sloppy joe today also. So just these two meals are the ones that are pre-prepared. And uh, maple and brown sugar overnight oats is going to be my breakfast. I did not have that this morning, but I will be having it tomorrow because you have to make it. It is an overnight thing. So there we go. And then I got my little calendar. I'm trying to stay, keep myself accountable by having my recipes. And these are To Be Mindset recipes. If you are a To Be Mindset, um, if you have the program and you are part of the body, you will get the advanced recipes. So I am doing my chicken in here. So I'm following Alana's recipe with her as she does it. Bong bong, my peanuts. I'm adding cilantro, that's the only thing different. My sweet potatoes, my habanero pepper, my garlic. Chicken and peanut stew. Good morning. I'm sorry, that's the best camera angle I can get you guys at right now. But this is what we are looking at like this morning in the neighborhood roads of Hamburg. And I see some flurries. I'm not sure if it's snowing or if it's just flurries from the sky, but I still see a little bit of flurries. Um, let's head on out and see what the main roads are looking like. 78 is clear. 78 is clear. So we have to go down to 61. Let's see what that looks like. And I must say that up here in Pennsylvania, they do not play when it comes to the main roads. And I see, um, I think that's, yep, that's the salt truck right now coming through the neighborhoods. They don't play. They utilize and take the money for what it's worth. Um, and that's why I kind of like, I dig living in Pennsylvania being it's a commonwealth state because in that aspect, they do take care of it. They take care of it. They make sure if you getting where you need to go. Cause I tell you back here in the neighborhood, but if you see right now out here on this street, look at that, it's pretty clear. It's clearer than back in the neighborhood. So they're working on it. They've already salted it. I can feel the salt on the tires. Look at that. I'm digging Hamburg. I don't mind it. It's not bad. Some of the people are crappy, but you know, there we go. 
Now, as you can see, the main roads are pretty clear also. So, we're going to do the dang thing. We're going to go to this radiation appointment and learn some more about it. And, um, of course, take this pregnancy test because they got to check to see if I'm pregnant. And yeah, find out my schedule and um, we'll see how long this takes and I might even be able to stop for like a brunch, maybe, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, we'll see, happy Friday. Hey, hey, so I'm editing the, vlog, editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now and I wanted to come in because I noticed that I did not give you like information about what I learned when I went to that first appointment to learn about how many treatments of radiation I would need and how often I had to have the radiation every week, five days a week, um, every week in the morning for five days it only took around maybe 10 20 minutes every day to do it and they targeted me the machine that you see in the clip the picture that i showed you that machine um that day that i took that picture they were fitting me for um how they needed me to lay on that table so i laid on that table i actually laid down so i had to hold those two poles if you pause the picture there's two poles and I had to hold those two poles and lay like this and then put my breast down in a hole and the radiation just targeted my breast and it didn't target my, my other side of my chest or my stomach or my upper chest or anything else. So the radiation just targeted there for the until maybe the last week or so of the treatment, they they made me, they, I had to do another mold where I laid with my arms on top like this. And um, the tar they targeted it like this. It went over top of me and targeted down like this. So the dark spots were here. The dark spots were up underneath my underarm and my underneath my whole breast. But it's starting to, it's faded now and I'm back to being the color I was. I just wanted to come in and like, give you that snippet. Um, I had to have the radiation for 20 days, five days a week for 20 days straight, no break, five days a week, 20 days, and then that was it. And um, I have to see, I do have a picture of me ringing the bell. I might stick that in here, but if not, because I might have more clips to show you and I might've gave you too much information, but oh well it's gonna make for a, 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 a the information for the vlog that you needed because i did not inform you of how many treats
blemishes on my face but you know when your body is doing what it's doing it comes out in your face and I have been eating a lot of sugary things that I'm not supposed to be eating so of course my face is gonna go through it but it is moistened and that hair is growing do you see it do you see that hair okay um but coming in just for a little check i know i haven't put a video in for a long long time just wanted to pop in and say things are going okay i start radiation on thursday and we will see how that goes i've heard it's gonna make me like so tired so I just haven't been working out yet. I'm going to start a Tai Chi program and hopefully I can get through a couple days of that without feeling exhausted. But just wanted to come in and check in and say, hey, 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 I am here. And I still have to, I still have some vlogs that I need to edit and get up to you guys like suck, suck, suck at that. But we here, we're live. And I'm going out to the store because we in Hamburg are expecting a big snowstorm and they're saying it's supposed to start at 4 o'clock p.m. So I am going to run to the Starbucks and get me a uh, caramel ribbon crunch with almond milk, frappuccino, and yeah, sugar, sugar. But... I'm gonna run around and get me some stuff for some chicken and peanut stew and um, get my pop up some things. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna hit the Walmart first and then I'm gonna go to the regular. To the I to the B to the mother of five E. And oh my gosh, it has been a while and I know you're seeing these vlogs all late. <sighs> my anxiety is a little high. I start my first radiation appointment this morning and it's 6 24 and i'm getting ready to go and i am a little nervous um but i'm ready to get it over with i have 20 sessions That was the most horrible experience ever. It was uncomfortable. Oh, my face. Okay, let's go home. We're done. Never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring. All the highs and lows Said I'm gonna win Though the world might spin Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one It rains down on me All the phone calls I'm ignoring See, I'm a mess Just trying to guess my way through this Just don't get enough from me
Don't be unlocking my windows, girl. What you doing?